Perseverance had to give up on its climb to reach the edge of the terrain dubbed Crocodilin and has since taken an easier route to another location on the edge. This time it found rocks with shiny bits of gravel and rainbow glints. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance struggling up the steep slope of the Jezero Crater Rim in an effort to reach the margin of Crocodilin. This is the strange feature named after a mountain ridge in the Norwegian park called Forlandet. Jezero Crater was divided into quadrangles for mapping purposes before Perseverance arrived, and each was given the name of a national park on Earth. Crocodilin, the crocodile, is a terrain feature within Forlandet, first on Earth and now on Mars. Perseverance was sent to investigate this line of rocks forming the edge of Crocodilin. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Geologic margins or contacts often reveal information that can help explain the events and processes that led to the formation of the terrain they surround. If you notice the dark sky above the hilltop, good eye. That's not an approaching storm, just the normal darkness in the late afternoon looking east at this time of year. With minimal dust in the very thin Martian atmosphere in midsummer, there's not much to scatter sunlight back to the camera, so you're basically seeing the blackness of space tinted by a small amount of atmospheric dust. Turning back toward the late afternoon sun, and it's a different story. At this latitude and season, thin water ice clouds are a regular atmospheric feature on Mars, as is nicely shown in this beautifully rendered mosaic from Simeon Schmaus. There are enough ice particles to cause forward scattering of sunlight, which brightens the sky, but certainly not enough to generate any precipitation. Think wispy clouds on an otherwise sunny day. Perseverance abandoned its efforts to drive to the contact and retreated to flatter terrain, first with a stop at some dune-like features known as mega ripples, and then onto the southeast contact of Crocodilin. It was greeted with some beautiful exposures of fractured, platy bedrock that resemble paving stones, but up close these rocks display a notably coarse texture that, that probably would be uncomfortable to walk on with bare feet, so keep your boots on. This larger pebble expands the grain size range of the rocks here, a clue to their origin. The gas dust removal tool, G-Dirt, on the robotic arm was used to blow off the dust here with a supersonic blast of nitrogen. See episode 224 for more info on G-Dirt. This produced the typical darker splotch after the lighter dust is removed from the darker rock underneath. The Watson camera on the arm got a closer look, showing the very irregular removal of dust thanks to the rough texture. The closest view with Watson nicely displays the individual grains or clasts of rocks and minerals, and also the patchy mauve or mauve colored coating, depending on where you're from, that's commonly seen throughout the mission. But it's the nighttime images taken with Watson's two sets of LEDs that really show off one of the minerals here as they illuminate the scene from different angles. The iridescent rainbow glinting is a good indication of the volcanic mineral olivine, which has been recognized previously along the margin of Crocodilin and throughout the region to the west. Putting together the observations here, an origin for these rocks as deposits of ash flows from cataclysmic explosive volcanic eruptions is one viable hypothesis. Others are possible, but now Perseverance has moved on from Crocodilin. I will shed crocodile tears over its departure.